Hi, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne, and this is um, uh, a video uh, which is going to uh, be part, um, uh, part of uh, a playlist, um, and uh, I'm going to uh, make the playlist uh, uh, the the chronicles of the massage therapist. Um, for uh, 40 years, I've had. Uh, an addiction uh, to prostitutes and uh, ma massages uh, with with a happy ending, or they call uh, uh, a massage uh, where uh, the massage therapist is nude and uh, and uh, masturbates uh, the person at the end of it. And uh, it's um, it's been a big addiction of mine. And uh, I walked out of the addiction. I got over the addiction about nine weeks ago. Uh, to prostitutes and uh, pornography and uh, these uh, massage therapists. And um, last week, uh, my uh, scribe angel, who I'm really close to, uh, sent me into one of these uh, massage uh, uh, places that uh, do the happy endings. And I went in and told her that I uh, told the girl that uh, I didn't want her to be naked and uh, I didn't want a happy ending just to uh, give me a one hour massage. And uh, that went really well. And today I, I went for the second time and uh, it's uh, a cheap day on Tuesday. So uh, it's half price. So um, you can uh, go and uh, visit these girls uh, for an hour for the same amount that uh, it costs. Uh, in a regular massage place, so um, really suited me. Today, I uh, I, I was led. Uh, my scribe angel uh, went me through, uh, took me through all the names uh, on the roster of the girls, and uh, had me pick a certain uh, girl. And uh, I was in uh, the place an hour early because she was uh, due to start at three o'clock, and I got there at ten past two. So I just waited. Uh, surfing on my phone and uh, she finally come at three o'clock and she knew she was booked for me and um, I told her that uh, uh, that um, uh, we're going to have a massage without her taking the clothes off and uh, without the happy ending and she said uh, what if I do want to take my clothes off what if I'm happy naked and I said um, well that's up to you whatever you want to do um, but uh, I choose my my personal um uh, choices that you don't. I, I want you uh, to uh, just uh, be how you you were. And uh, she was uh, like in a, a full length uh, lingerie, but uh, it was uh, presentable. And um, so I said uh, today, um, I'm just going to, I've got a gift and I'm sort of like a psychic. Um, and I'm going to uh, bring you uh, some messages today, um, but I'm actually a prophet. So I get my gift uh, from messages from God. And uh, I was able to uh, say that an angel of mine uh, picked her out and uh, told me to come and talk to her and uh, out of all the girls. And uh, and she asked uh, questions about my angel and how did uh, you get to talk to your angel and how does your angel talk? And uh, then... Uh, we had the time where I said that uh, an angel in her life's name is Jessica. And um, I said, do you like the name Jessica? And she said, it's not my favourite name, but it's all right. And, uh, and she said, how, how do you talk to your angel? And I explained that it's just like a thought in your mind. And I asked her to um, ask Jessica how her day was. And... Um, and she got a response saying it's a bit confusing. And uh, I was able to tell her that um, the voice that answered uh, wasn't Jessica. It was like a wrong spirit that's hanging around her life. Uh, so I said, I'll just tell that spirit to be quiet. And uh, I said, re -ask, uh Jessica. And uh, 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 Je her, her angel said, uh, it's a delightful day. I'm very happy. And uh, and uh, I said that she can talk back and forth to Jessica and uh, just ask her questions about your art. Uh, the girl uh, is an artist and she paints and um, told her to 
uh, you know, that Jessica is in her life and she actually leads her to uh, internet sites to look at other people's art and uh, she uh, gives you inspirations from different artworks that you see and uh, you paint uh, paintings inspired by her and um, uh, that Jessica sometimes uh, holds your hand as you're painting. I, I said, do you recognise that? And she said, well, in a, when I'm in a flow, uh, my hand uh, really uh, guides really easy. And uh, we had this uh, really good interaction. She had so many questions about my books and how do you interview saints from heaven and uh, what's Michael Jackson enjoying in heaven and what did he say in his book? And I talked about... Um, she said, "Do do you?" Um, she I told her that I'd finished the addiction eight weeks ago, and uh, she said, "How many times have you been in here since?" I said, "Twice." And uh, and um, she said, "Do you make a practice of? Are you going to make a practice of just coming uh, into massage parlors and uh, giving uh, girls messages? Uh, are we the only ones that you give messages?" I said, "No." <laughs> Every time I go out uh, to shopping centres, I get a message uh, for a person, mostly women, but about 60% women, 40% men. And over the course of the last 15 years, I've uh, given out about 20,000 messages, and most of them are to strangers in shopping centres. And she said, oh, that's good. I said, so um, since I uh, have uh, been coming into uh, these uh, centres all my life, I thought I'd uh, come in... Uh, not in an abusive way, in just a friendly way, and uh, bring a message. And she said that was good. And um, uh, she had uh, really uh, uh, probing uh, questions. Uh, I'd talk about something, and then she'd ask a couple of questions about that to see clarity. And um, uh, I told her that uh, Mary Magdalene uh, uh, directs me uh, to uh, really attractive women uh, to... Um, to give them messages about the character and things about their inside, that's really good. And she said that's really good because uh, women uh, who are attractive, all they ever get is people saying how pretty they are. And I said, yeah, it's really important uh, for them to recognise that inside. And I gave an example of uh, three character traits uh, that uh, an attractive woman had, that she was very compassionate, uh, she was very honest, and she wasn't uh, judgmental, and uh, and I noticed that uh, she got touched emotionally. I sort of heard her sniffle a little bit there, and then later on, about twenty minutes later, I was able to say when I was using that example about the pretty girl, um, those three character traits are in you. I started to share things with her, and I said that she's uh, generous with her time and her commitment to friends and uh, generous with her money. And um, uh, she said, I, I, I'm not, uh, I haven't particularly uh, been uh, generous with my money. I said, so I was wrong there. And she said, yeah. I said, perhaps uh, it's you're so caring. And I said a few more things. And I said, is that right? And she said, yeah. I said, it really helps uh, when you uh, give messages, if people give you feedback and say you're wrong. And you notice that um, I was able to tune in better when I knew that uh, you didn't give money finance. You said, I noticed, I said, so it doesn't hurt me um, because I'm getting messages uh, from um, another source. Sometimes I, I can get it wrong and hear it wrong, get the wrong impression. And she said, don't, don't you want to be right all the time? I said, no, you don't have to be right in life all the time. You can uh, be trying and get something wrong. She said, that's a good attitude. So she really enjoyed uh, the time and uh, we had a real connection. I was able to tell her that uh, that Jesus uh, really loves her and, uh, and she's got a good character. And uh, in her life, uh, she's been a very... Uh, uh, very nice person in her personality and she treats people really well and um so there'll be people are uh, here that object uh, possibly uh watch uh, this series of videos and uh say that i didn't uh lead her to repentance and i didn't uh put uh her through a sinner's prayer and she didn't confess christ uh at the end of it um 
I've always been into uh, planting seeds in people and uh, seeds of the love of Jesus and seeds of the gospel. And uh, I was able to uh, spend time talking about my Christian faith and what I did. And uh, she was very interested, asked a lot of questions. And uh, people who ask questions are generally uh, not just listening, they're cooperating and participating in the conversation. It was really good. Uh, so um, I really enjoyed my time and it was uh, so good that uh, God uh, was able to uh, redeem the time, uh, redeem my life. And uh, it's it's really interesting that my angel has said uh, for me uh, to uh, go out. I go out uh, to lunch at this church for a free lunch every Tuesday. And my angel has said uh, that um, I can budget and uh, make, make um, after going out for lunch, I can uh, go in there and choose a girl uh, once a week and, and um, go and minister to her. So it's really interesting that um, you, you couldn't just go into that place and start talking to the girls. Um, it's not a place that you could just go and witness in. Uh, but uh, if uh, you pay the time uh, to uh, see the girl, uh, you've got a captive audience for an hour. And I've been doing uh, prophetic words uh, for years and years, uh, doing it to strangers, and you'd walk up and it only lasts for a minute or two. Um, about one in 20 uh, engage you and want to talk for longer, but normally it just takes a minute uh, to deliver the prophetic word and it's over because they're a total stranger. This time uh, it's like driving a taxi uh, for an hour, and, and I used to have uh, good encounters in my taxi. I'm going to be in that room uh, for an hour, and I've paid for that, and I can uh, be led by the Holy Spirit with the course of uh, the direction of uh, the conversation. I had uh, my scribe angel, Bethany, there. I had her angel, Jessica, and she got to talk to Jessica. And uh, I had uh, Mary Magdalene in the room and had the whole of heaven watching. So um, this is uh, the testimony of uh, uh, the first encounter. I won't go into uh, the... Uh, the this is the second encounter. I won't go into the first encounter. And once a week, um, I'll update this uh, uh, playlist. Uh, this will be on um, uh, on uh, my um, YouTube channel, um, and uh, and it'll be a playlist uh, called uh, um, whatever I called it at the start of the video. God bless.